Sup guys, it's Alex here, and this is my like 8th or ninth Bracketology update video. And honestly, it'll probably be the last one before the actual brackets come out, because I don't know if a whole lot's going to change on Saturday and Sunday, and plus I don't have a whole lot of time, because I'll be working uh, 13 hours over the weekend, so I'll definitely be coming out with the actual bracket video, and I'll be posting it on Bracketify after the video comes out, I think. And so you guys can vote, and I'll go ahead and put the link in the description whenever I uh, am able to make that bracket. But I'll go ahead and go ahead with this Bracketology update here. There's been some pretty big changes. Kansas lost to TCU in their conference tournament last night, and that dropped them from the number one overall seed to the number three, number one seed. Duke moved up to a number three after beating Louisville, and Butler dropped down to a four after losing to Xavier. And that made Xavier get off the first four, or the last four in, to now they're where they're on the next, or the last four buys or whatever. Vermont moved up, North Dakota moved up. Uh, UCLA moved over to the three side, and that's going to be a brutal region over here. We got North Carolina, Kentucky, UCLA, West Virginia, Cincinnati, St. Mary's. That is going to be tough. And so let's go ahead and go show you the bubble real quick. With their win against uh, Butler, Xavier moved up to a little bit of a safer spot. Kansas State moved up after beating the two seed Baylor. That now they're in the tournament as of right now. Illinois State is falling. I feel bad for them. TCU is in the next four out because they beat Kansas, and if they can make a run in their conference tournament, they might make their way into a uh, spot in the NCAA tournament. And Vanderbilt is also moving up with their run in the SEC tournament right now. But let's go ahead and show you guys my picks. As always, it's on Bracketify.com. I'll put that link in the description whenever I actually get to post this video. There's an actual link that will be in the video. So let's go ahead and get this thing started. Villanova and Mount St. Mary's, you know what's going to go on there. Villanova's going to win. Virginia Tech and VCU, this one can go either way, but I'm actually going to go with VCU here. Notre Dame and UNC Wilmington. Notre Dame is fresh off a victory against Virginia, so they're going to pull out the win there. Then I think East Tennessee State's going to upset Florida. I know Florida is the two seed in the SEC, and they've been doing pretty good all season, but I think that East Tennessee State's going to upset Florida here. Not a lot of people are going to pick that. Vanderbilt's going to beat Wisconsin. Florida State's going to beat Winthrop. Providence is going to beat Maryland, and Baylor's going to beat North Dakota. Gonzaga's going to beat Texas Southern. Wichita State's going to beat the Northwestern Wildcats, who are making their first appearance in the NCAA tournament, but I'm going to have to go with Wichita State. Virginia's going to beat Nevada. Butler's going to beat Bucknell. I think Minnesota's going to beat the winner of Syracuse and Kansas State, because I honestly don't know who's going to win that Syracuse and Kansas State games. Both of those teams can be pretty good upset picks, and they're both about even in matchups. I know a lot of people are going to pick Syracuse to beat Kansas State there, but I think Minnesota is going to beat whoever is going to win that game. The Duke's going to be Akron. Marquette's going to be Oklahoma State. Oregon's going to beat UC Irvine. Number one, North Carolina is going to beat the 16 seed NC Central. Michigan's going to beat Dayton. Cincinnati's going to beat Vermont. West Virginia is going to beat Princeton. I think Middle Tennessee is going to beat St. Mary's, though. St. Mary's could pull off a blowout here. They blew out BYU by like 30 in their conference tournament, but then got destroyed by Gonzaga in their conference finals. Middle Tennessee is going to move on there. Then UCLA is going to beat Cal State Bakersfield. Creighton's going to beat Michigan State. Kentucky is going to beat Iona. Kansas is going to beat Jacksonville State. Miami, Florida is going to beat Arkansas. SMU and USC and Wake Forest. I think if USC can win that game, that they'll end up winning. Even Wake Forest, they might upset SMU because they beat Louisville earlier, so I'm going to have to go with the 12 seed there. 4 seed Purdue is going to beat the 13 Arlington. Iowa State's going to beat Xavier. Arizona's going to beat Florida Gulf Coast, though that could be another popular upset pick there. In the last bracket, it was the 3 seed Butler versus the 4 Florida Gulf Coast, and I think like 60 people picked Florida Gulf Coast, so you never know. And Seton Hall is going to beat South Carolina. Louisville's going to beat Northern Kentucky. Now for a spot in the Sweet 16, Villanova's going to beat VCU. Notre Dame's going to beat East Tennessee State. I think Vanderbilt's going to upset Florida State here. Then Baylor's going to beat Providence. Wichita State's going to upset Gonzaga. Gonzaga's going to be the first one seed to fall. Then Virginia's going to beat Butler. Duke's going to beat Minnesota. And then Oregon's going to beat Marquette. North Carolina's going to beat Michigan. Cincinnati will lose to West Virginia. UCLA is going to beat Middle Tennessee, and Kentucky is going to beat Creighton. Then Kansas is going to beat Miami, Florida. Then I think Purdue is going to beat the winner of USC and Wake Forest. So that could be another upset pick there in a 12 seed moving on to the Sweet 16. But I'm going to have to go with uh, Purdue there. Then Iowa State is going to beat Arizona. Louisville is going to beat Seton Hall, but I can see Seton Hall pulling off the upset there. They beat Butler at Butler, so you never know. And then I think Notre Dame is going to beat Villanova to move on to the Elite Eight. Baylor is going to beat Vanderbilt. Uh, Virginia is going to beat Wichita State, though Wichita State could move on there. Then we got Oregon beating Duke, North Carolina beating West Virginia. I think UCLA. I want. I'm a Kentucky fan, and I want Kentucky to win. 
But Kentucky's been kind of disjointed if Bam out of bio gets, out of, gets into foul trouble and Malik Monk can't get a shot down. I think UCLA's going to move on like they beat Kentucky earlier in the season. Kansas is going to beat Purdue. Then Louisville's going to beat Iowa State. And then moving on to the Final Four, I think the five seed Notre Dame is going to move on and beat Baylor. And then Oregon and Virginia are going to have to go with Oregon, the two seed. Then one North Carolina beating the three UCLA. And then the one Kansas beating the two Louisville. And then for a spot in the national championship game, the five seed Notre Dame versus the two seed Oregon. Going to have to go with Dylan Brooks and the Oregon Ducks. Number one North Carolina and number one Kansas. I don't really don't know who to go with, but I think I'm going to have to go with North Carolina. Kansas just showed their weakness in uh, losing to TCU. And plus, North Carolina has been a bit more consistent as the season's been going on. So I'm going to have to go with North Carolina there. And then, so, in the final national championship game, one North Carolina making their return to the national championship game from a year ago versus the two-seed Oregon. Going to have to go with Oregon. North Carolina is going to fall short for the second year in a row. And the Oregon Ducks are going to make their way to the national championship. So I just want to say thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for voting and all those uh, bracket uh, updates that I've been doing. I think I have almost 80,000 total votes among all the brackets. I just want to say thank you guys for that involvement and all the views in these videos have been getting. I just want to say thank you guys for watching. Be sure to leave your thoughts in the comment section below. Like and subscribe for the actual bracket being released and my predictions on that. And as always, the link for the Bracketify uh, brackets will be in the description. And thank you guys for watching.